Good day, Commanders. It's the final shipment of the year, so we get double the firepower this time. Eiffel and Curie. I know what you're thinking. This delivery is incomplete. That's because both the robot and the Titan have a delivery mechanism of their own. Watch this. These machines are from Icarus, and Icarus solves all problems with teleports. Like the Eiffel Titan, which calls in a pair of jet engines, some extra plating for increased durability, and two additional weapons to be warped in straight from orbit. Someone got jealous of Dagon, I guess. Eiffel then takes off to unleash all hell on the enemy. You might be surprised at how mobile the Titan can get for its class. And its second ability takes it even further. It's a straightforward dash, followed by a bonus to movement speed. Positioning is key, especially when you're a bit fragile. But then, five weapons on a Titan? I'd run it even if it had tinfoil for armor. And there's the same tech installed on a robot as well. Curie might not be strong enough to carry additional guns, but it deploys them on the ground instead. They act like turrets and fire automatically for a short time. Curie also gets jet thrusters and some extra armor while the ability is active. You can use it for both offense and defense. The turrets will cover you in either case. All right, what else can you put on those tech marbles? Both Eiffel and Curie aren't ideal for brawling. Arms dealers from the black market say that bending bullets are back in style this season. That makes the new Tumultus and Discardia a perfect choice. They synergize nicely with the Titan's altitude advantage. Curie, however, continues last month's fashion. It sports two subduers, a heavy version of Tamer and Damper. And yes, it applies the rust effect too. Now, I wonder, there's guns, armor, and even entire robots. What else can you teleport? How far can you reach? Might be a topic for future research. Until then, give Eiffel and Curie a whirl. Have a good one. Happy hunting.